I met most of my friends online, and only one of them turned out to be a murderer in real life. <laughs> you sure that's great. Like most people, due to us being quarantined before, I spent a lot more time online, which meant a lot more playing video games and spending a lot of time on this app called Discord. I usually spend all my time inside anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it makes no difference. Discord is a online social platform where you can meet, interact, and talk to weird people online. And most of the time, you become friends with those strangers in order to meet people you have to join communities of people of similar interests your interest can be from liking the same game or even doing roblox role-playing discord together yes that is a real discord <laughs> no way it's actually no way. yes it is <laughs> for me i always wanted to be a youtuber so i joined a editing discord where i can learn how to edit and improve my own videos ha loser but that's how i met you blaza so i don't know <laughs> oh. I also joined a dating Discord server, but we're never going to talk about that. Blaza, this is the part where you call him a loser. This is the part where you call him a loser. <laughs> that is way beyond loser. <laughs> I met a lot of new people, but the two people I still talk to this day and met in real life were Fat Meme God and Mr. Blaza. Fat Meme God was that kid that your parents told you not to hang out with, so I didn't talk to him much yet. He's going to be kind of like a background character. Did you find him in the dating server? I I mostly hanged out with Mr. Blaza because guess what? Me and him were both hired by Cypher PK as editors. Yeah, we were paid so well, like 50 bucks. Yes, we used to work for this absolute giga chat of a man before he fired us. Damn, got um, fired from your first job. Okay. <laughs> Wait, actually, that was my first job. <laughs> <laughs> we lasted maybe two weeks working with him because after that, he fired us, but rightfully. Our, our editing was bad. It wasn't that bad for the time. I guess it was bad. It's so high. It was pretty sounds bad. Like an, uh, sounds like an excuse. <laughs> that didn't stop me hanging out with Mr. Blaza. So we started talking more and more. Uh, the first thing I learned about Mr. Blaza is that he loves anime. I mean, loved it. It wasn't that bad. He loved it, man. It was he wouldn't send a message without 32 emojis of some random anime girl dancing. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Yeah. Okay, buddy. That's what they all say. <laughs> I also realized that I've been talking to Blaza for weeks but i didn't know if he was a boy or a girl <laughs> <laughs> i was hoping he was a girl so i asked him i was wrong <laughs> okay. hoping he was gonna finally talk to a woman with that out of the way we started talking more and more and he even got me into anime and i still watch that to this day which is epic oh yeah who's laughing now huh and then that turned us from editing for other people and we actually turned that around to start our own youtube journey and we started recording together we've been massively depressed ever since but before i talk about the absolute shock of meeting blaza for the first time let me bring it back and talk about the other guys fat meme god tbh honest and juice juice was an interesting fellow because he had more subscribers than me when i talked to him i was a fan of his content oh my god juice, that, what honestly, can i juice say me? bow down to me right now <laughs> i'm joking Slasher won a fanboy begging to be in juice's private vc so i could talk to him and i would see him in my discord and i would just drag him up to my private room mm -hmm. and we would talk for hours hey, yo, what are you <laughs> yeah, talking about private room. Room. <laughs> somehow i got into his private vc and i got invited to his minecraft world and i blew up his base Thanks. <laughs> what a first impression. <laughs> we became best friends ever since. Juicy's still looking for revenge. On the other hand, I didn't meet TBH Honest until much later. It was when everyone was playing Among Us. Oh, the good old times. The dark times. <laughs> the, the, the dark <laughs> times. When I first met him, I thought he was an extreme introvert. He barely said anything at all. And now he won't shut up. Wow, thanks for that. <laughs> uh, thanks for that. That's much appreciated. <laughs> so we also became best friends. <laughs> the last person on the list is Fat Meme God. I also met him in the editing discord, but how do I put this? He is abnormally stupid. He's the type of guy to turn himself into a jar of peanut butter in Minecraft and get <laughs> 1 million views. How, how about you shove a jar of peanut butter up your ass? <laughs> how did you get in this call? And that's like, I'm sick and tired of this abuse, okay? Let me tell you guys the real story of how I met Stinky for one. No, someone get him, someone get him out of here. Security? This is my video now! Uh, I'm one security, I'm, getting, I'm kicking him out here. Get out, I'm... get out of the door. Get out. So about four to five years ago, I heard about this secret Discord server going around, okay? Where a bunch of editors were gonna get together and we were, they were gonna make 
Fortnite the movie. Fortnite the movie? If he was the Discord moderator, the person leading this Fortnite movie. Yeah, I was the Discord moderator. So yeah, my role in this movie was to make like a cool montage thing, like getting a bunch of kills and stuff. We were making Fortnite, Fortnite montages back then. And you know who my partner was? Who? Blaza. Me? Really? Yeah. Bro, I, I hated Blaza back then. Man, what did I do? Blaza <laughs> was the kid in the huh? in like the group presentation who would dress up nice for the presentation but did like absolutely no work i did all the work what are you talking about our job was to get like clips of killing people with pistols and blaza would just be playing some weird anime game i don't want to talk about that he was playing osu <laughs> oh and i was good at osu so yeah i pretty much just complained about it to socks and he was like all right all right i'll help you get some clips i was being the nice discord moderator there see i was helping you out yeah and that's when we just started playing together they started calling every day from that point on and now look at us we're best friends. I hate you. <laughs> and I'm still really good at Osu. Now that you're familiar with everyone, we thought it was a great idea for everyone to come over to my place and hang out. Except for Fat yeah. Meme God, because he still weirds me out. There are many problems with strangers coming to your house. I don't know what anyone looks like. We never FaceTimed each other. <laughs> and it's too late now, because on Saturday morning, I had three strangers arriving later that night. How do you prepare to meet someone you talk to every day of your life for the past couple of years, but you never actually met them? With lots of lube and a met kid. It's scary. I started imagining how people would look like, starting with Blaza. I feel like with his voice, he would be like this short scrawny man while juice was some sort of english butler i thought tbh would be like a supermodel he's got a good voice damn okay i don't know if i should be offended or be happy about that the first person to arrive was tbh but instead of him coming over to my place i decided to pick him up because that is the gentleman i am yeah sort of sweetie <laughs> <laughs> i am also not very practical because at this time i was driving a two-seater sports car and i thought i was gonna have enough room to fit all his luggage and if you don't see what i'm doing here I'm, I'm foreshadowing as i was driving in the pickup lane i called tbh on discord because i still had no idea what he looked like somehow in the crowd of people i managed to figure out who he was because of his mouth movements am i weird <laughs> that i was able to do that luckily he was not a 60 year old man and actually a handsome fellow and for some reason it was not awkward at all like i got out we did a little handshake a little bit of a dance and got in the car don't forget to smooch in we did a little smooching too <laughs> and then i held him hostage but you know that's fine i got the money <laughs> for the luggage that was kind of a problem because we had tbh sitting in front of the car and so did the luggage we squeezed it in so tightly i don't know how the car didn't just burst into a bunch of lego pieces I felt so bad because when I sat down to drive, I could only see TBH's little fingers sticking out from the luggage in his seat. <laughs> this is the first Discord friend I met in real life and I'm already messing it up. And to make Very matters worse, since I was a hurry to get home so TBH wouldn't suffocate and die, I started speeding. Lesson here, kids, never speed. The main problem wasn't that I was speeding. It was a spider decided to come up from the ceiling of the car. A spider! A spider! In the car! I hate spiders! Why are there spiders in your car? Why are there spiders in my car? My instant reaction kicked in and I took both hands off the steering wheel and smacked the spider into the window. Uh, the win here is that the spider was dead now, but no one was driving the car! In that split second, the car went off-road and hit the rail of the side of the highway. I thought we were gonna die! And the whole time, TBH had no idea what was going on because he couldn't see anything! Luckily, instead of smashing into the railing we sort of just bounced off like a bouncy ball and back onto the road so i guess we were okay i have no idea how we're still alive because we made it home safe tbh on the other hand had no idea what really happened and he turned out to be a really nice guy but now i had two more people still flying in oh no hello. and they were coming in together the reason was is because they were both european so they decided to fly together which was smart the nighttime was here and me and tbh were hanging out and out of nowhere the, a third person just came into the room. Uh, for some reason, I, I, I recognized him right away with his teeth. And he told me to go to the dentist straight away. <laughs> <laughs> they actually give you a whole coupon and everything. I actually have no idea how me and Juicy interacted, but I believe he sounded like a real man when I met him. Not a butler, surprisingly. So <laughs> You said to me, 
Oh my god, you actually sound like a man. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> the question is, if Juicy was here, where was Blaza? That's when I saw it. A giant figure approaching the door. It was not human. It was a monster. You know how doors have these like tiny windows on the outside, like on the top and the side? Well, you could see hands just wrapping around the door. We booked it. We were out of there. I ran to the kitchen. TBH went upstairs. I don't even know where Juicy is, okay? We're gone. I was hiding behind the counter trying to make as little noise as possible because that's also when I realized we forgot to lock the door because Juicy came in. He didn't lock the door behind him. He's British. He never does. True. <laughs> <laughs> and as soon as that thought came into my head, I heard the door slowly creak open. My heart rate started to spike. The weird thing is I didn't hear any noise. It was completely silent. I was dead alone in the kitchen with my friends, nowhere to be seen. I thought I was about to get murdered. I peeped around the corner to see if anyone was there, but it was already too late. A chill went down my spine as I felt an overwhelming presence from behind. Standing six feet tall, four inches, was a man I'd never seen before. I tried to scream, but I was so frightened I was just sitting there. And out of nowhere, this dark figure said, Hello. I didn't recognize the voice at first, but then I did. It was Blaza, but with a deeper voice, and he was huge. Where the, where the woman at? The voice I've been hearing for so long, for years, and it was not even real. And now that I hear it in real life, his real voice, it, it wasn't even the same person. I'm at your house. I've never been at your house. I've always been home. Then who's in the other room? I'm still in <laughs> Europe. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> a sigh of relief as I'm glad I did not get murdered, and I just met one of my best online friends. Eventually, everyone came down and everyone was just as shocked as me. Blasso was freaking out because he said my face looked real which I think what real people look, look like. It looked like high quality because I'm used oh, to seeing right. you on like the screen, like 480p. 480p? 480p? 480p, oh no. All I can say is that it's way better meeting everyone in person and all my online friends have been some of the coolest people I've ever met. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe to their channels and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe as well. Goodbye.